Now then YouTube and the tough man and welcome back to some more League 2 to Prem. Today we are starting the season off and I tell you something, we ended our last episode on a high. We've got all three of our transfer targets for this window in particular uh, until we can you know, get some more money behind us and hopefully get some results in League 2 and, you know, maybe get up into the uh, the playoffs. That would be at the aim for me, is the, the playoffs. The playoffs is definitely the aim for me, uh, regardless of what the fucking boards say to me. So Fleetwood Town and KRC Genk in Shriver's talk. It never was, it's never going to happen, guys. Not at £1.1 £1 .1 million per player. Um, I do have somebody else in mind, though. You will find out who he is, hopefully very, very soon. Mason Bennett, 600k. Um, that's not a bad, that's not a bad, bad acquisition if I had the money to be able to get him, but I don't, so um, that's not going to be possible, that's just not going to be possible in this one guys, but we are going to start the season off now, we've got a transfer off of uh, David Lucas, the other goalkeeper who's like fucking 17 years old, uh, 17 billion years old, should I say, is uh, from the Triassic era is this guy, David Lucas, let's accept that offer and get rid of him, got 100k in the bank now, um, still not enough to do anything with, but I will definitely keep those guys on the shortlist because some of those guys are coming up with uh, their end of uh, their end of their contract, including uh, Gonzalez. I'm sure he was. Did uh, Mason Bennett on his last? No, it's not. Who was the other guy? Tyler Harvey. He was the one that was on his uh, on his con last uh, year of his contract. So we can see about that. What about Shrevers? Is he? No, it's not. It's not. Declan John. Declan John. Are you on there? Declan John. No. No, it's not. It's not on there at all. Right. So let's continue on, guys. We start in finally to uh, to simulate some games in the league, and we get uh, getting kicking off. Gets kicked off in the league. Kodriev has already gone up a point. Look to fifty eight. He was fifty seven. I'm pretty sure of that. Hector Bellerin is yet to do anything yet, but uh, is yet to do anything yet. But I'm sure that he will be doing in the future. Cresswell, Mr. Jordan. Mr. Crackman, Mr. Crackman, he's going to be there. Uh, Evans, he's going to be playing. And uh, I'm going to leave everyone else as they are. Hopefully, you know, these guys can get a little bit of, little bit of uh, morale back from there. I don't know why they went playing the people that they did, but simulate the match. Home game against Chesterfield. Come on, you Fleetwood Town maf Mafia. 2-1, Sasevic and Ball scoring. Sasevic and Ball. Still sounds like a um, a chat show. Sasevich and Ball instead of Parkin and Ball this time around. But a win is a win, and that will help the morale of the the, uh, the guys there. It should be great. Player has been sold for seven thousand pound. Wow, that's a lot of money. That that's a lot of money. Sizable price tag, seven k. <laughs> Oliver uh, Oliver Martin is he the other goalkeeper? He is the other goalkeeper. Get in, Let's sell him. Bohemian Rhapsodies. Have decided they want a piece of uh, a piece of Fleetwood. They've looked into who's actually, you know. Oh shit! Look at that manager. He he, does, he likes his players. So okay, we need to uh, we need to do the switcheroo for this game because we simply do not have the uh, the fitness to be able to deal with it. And uh, everyone else gets uh, swapped around there. But we'll leave it as is. We'll just carry on away against Carlisle. It's going to be a loss. I mean, let's be quite honest, guys. It's going to be a loss. Very one. Two one loss. Um, it was you know close. Um, we, we they had two goals and we managed to pull one back towards the end. But I'm concerned, boss. Somebody says it was fucking concerned. What are you concerned about, Mr. Taylor? That's some of the speculation. So I want to ask you to give me another chance to prove I'm the best man for the job. We well, are not. That's why I bought somebody else. That's why you're not the best man for the job, Mr. Taylor. So if you don't mind, I've got work to do. Nil. Berry, Burry, Burry's Bonanza, two after extra time. and uh, Bash the Bish, is he still going to be goalkeeper for this Bristol match? City no he's not, two. well he might be South actually, because I'm the one in charge, Burnley. Bellerin, Kodrev is back, the three guys I want to be there are there, so everybody else I'm not really bothered about, I just want those guys that I've bought to get those games. And uh, as long as I've got the fitness, that is. As long as I've got the fitness, get the games. Away against Bury. So this is going to be... Uh, oh, man. Tough, tough. 
Yes, Mandron gets the win there. That's two games, two wins in the league so far. That's fantastic stuff. We're in second place. We're going up. No, we've got to, we've got Scunthorpe next, and that will be, um, you know, a bit of a kick in the a, a kick in the ball sack. I'm quite sure when it comes down to playing them, because that will be a difficult, difficult game. So, okay, let's uh, do the old switch route. Bash the Bish is playing once again. Are the other guys fit? That's what I want to know. Hector Bellerin. No, he's not. Fully fit. And the other guy, Kodrev. He's fit enough. In my eyes, Kodrev is fit enough. So we'll get him playing because I want to get them as much games as possible. Fleetwood Town versus Scunthorpe United. It's a difficult game. And it's a result. That is a result for me. Tony Blair scoring. And Mandarin scoring again. Win all and, uh, and Madden for Scunthorpe, but Scunthorpe are a strong, strong team for League Two, and that is a result for me. I'm pretty sure of that. I can class that as a result for me. We've got Northampton next, who are sniffing on our butt cheeks there in, uh, in eighth place. 7.5 million pound for check. That's a bit... It's been done over there, I think, Chelsea. Dagenham and Redbridge, nil. Exodus so, let's see what happens in this next one. Bellerin, and uh, why, why, why are you not playing, Kodriev? Because you should be. Get on that pitch and start playing for me, boy. We've got uh, the end of the month coming up soon. As you can see, it's August 24th. And the end of the month means that players have the opportunity and the potential to go up in their overalls. Two all it ended in the end. It ended in the end, guys, believe it or not. Mandarin again and uh, Parkin. Parkin and Mandarin. Parkin, isn't that some sort of cake that you eat? Some sort of cake. We're in fifth. I, the, guys, for me, the aim is playoffs. I'm quite happy with that. As long as we can keep that up, keep going, I'm quite happy with that. We've got a little bit, bit of a break going up towards uh, uh, transfer deadline day. Press conference. So we've got to get the, uh, the match done first before we get the... Uh, the transfer deadline there done. I don't think we're buying anybody, to be quite honest. Jordan's there again. What are you doing, Jordan? Why is Kodriev not playing? He should be. Stop nicking my place, Jordan. Simulate the match. A home game against Dagenham and Redbridge. They've lost, drawn and lost their last three games. And I'm hoping to make it a, another loss in the last four. 3-0, Mandarin again with two goals, and Hughes slipping himself in in the 82nd minute. That's good stuff. That is good stuff, guys. As we go into transfer deadline day today, I don't think we're going to be doing any business. The only business is what's going to go out, not what's going to come in. I'm going to keep the money I've got for pre-contracts when it comes around to January. I might be able to snag a couple of players on, uh, on pre-contracts. Because I'll be looking in between episodes as well at people like, for different areas and stuff like that. So we may be able to snag a couple of people on pre-contract when it comes round to uh, to January. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And I'm hoping, also hoping for uh, for promotion, guys. That would be ledge. If we can get immediate promotion, that would be amazing. But uh, I'm all about players who can grow. You know, I'm, I'm never a person who buys a 28-year-old. I'm always the person who buys an 18-year-old or a 20-year-old, but I never buy the old players. 190 million spent. Are you fucking kidding me? Aggie, 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 oi, oi, oi. He's gone to Real Madrid for 67 million pounds. That would never happen. And um, Lewandowski's gone to Real Madrid as well. What a fucking front line that is. Benzema's gone to Chelsea. The usual. As you could tell. The usual shit happens. Transfer deadline day has ended and could it be the first time I've ever seen it go over 200 mil? Train injury. Oh no, Bellerin's out for three weeks. No, 190 million it's, it's, uh, it ended there. And we're at the first, but we'll, I'll wait until the next game comes up and I'll see if anybody's actually changed. <coughs> Cheltenham. I'm relieved, boss. I was worried that you might replace me. Well, I was going to replace you, to be quite honest. Is he injured? Yes, he is. That's good, because it means... Oh, hang on a minute. No, because Kodriev doesn't get a game when I do that. So let's have a look. Uh, Hector Bellerin is still on 59. Bash the Bish is still on 60. And Kodriev is still on 58. So no improvements yet, but I'm sure that will change next month. 
Or at least I'm hoping that's going to be the case. Um, yeah. So, on to the next game. is an away game against Cheltenham. We're currently in fourth place, doing very, very well so far. But uh, you never know, guys. They've won, lost, and lost. But this is an away game, and you know what I'm like. Two all. Parkin has managed to score two goals. And McGlashan managed to get the equaliser for Cheltenham in the 51st minute. York City is the one that's coming up next. But uh, we're still in it. We're still there. We are still in it, even though we're drawing. Um, but we're still in it. York City is going to be coming up next. Let's go ahead and do the old switcheroo. Do the old switcheroo. Kodriad's coming on for this game instead. Bash the Bish is still in goal. Which is great. What about this? What about this? Home City against... Uh, home City. A home game against York City. I expect to win. A draw, a win and a draw. So they haven't lost in the last three games, York City. But they have now. Michael Ball has popped in. The, the, the old guy himself, Michael Ball, has popped in and uh, has said, Hey... Here you are. Have this. And then he's gone. He's gone again. Oh, you banjo. Getting a yellow card over there for York. But that's good. We're in the top three now. Which is fantastic news for us. Really is fantastic news. Player has been suspended. My player time. Scott Davis is like A. Not happy about this. Plymouth Argyle coming up next. As we're rattling through September now as well. And do the usual. I wish there was a button on the simulated screen that you could press and it would do the team for you like this instead of having to you know, go in and out and in and out and shaking it all about. Bash the Bish is once again in there and so is Kodriev. The other guy is not back yet, Bellerin, so we can't use him. Delegate to the ass man. Kodriev and Bash the Bish. It's another home game. Come on, guys. Two all draw. Mandarin with another two goals and Reed fighting back for Plymouth. And uh, we are back down to fifth place. Plymouth Argyle right up our cracks on 12 points. But uh, as long as we can stay in that in that area, that zone, that uh, that playoff zone, I'm quite happy. Quite happy with the results that I'm getting. As long as I can stay in that zone. Or even automatic promotion would be brilliant. But uh, playoffs would be nice. This is not by no means. I'm you know I'm not going for back-to-back -back promotions or anything like that. This is for the long run. These things, um, these these seasons go by really quick when I'm simulating them and so on and so forth. So we can get to see the team and as we grow and and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to this series. I'm looking forward to seeing where this series goes and how well we can manage to make a team. Hector Bellerin's back, so it seems. Full fitness. Bash the Bish. Kodriev, they're all back, away against Accrington, it's going to be a difficult game, I'm pretty sure about that, they've lost one and lost, so can we add to their misery, or can they add to ours, a one-all, Kodriev getting his first goal for the club as well on left back, brilliant stuff, but uh, one-all means that we go up, we've actually gone up to fourth place, makes uh, loads of sense of course, <clears throat> Creswell's like, yeah, cheers for playing me, boss. I don't care. Rochdale, who are currently sitting at the top of the league. Oh, no, they're not. Portsmouth is. Ignore what I just said right then, guys, because that's not true. I'm lying to you guys. How dare I? Bellerin has gone up to 60. Kodriev has gone up to 59. We're finally starting to see some of the fruits of the labour, but Bash the Bish is not going anywhere at all. Um, Kodriev, what about Hector Bellerin? Yeah, we could always use Hogan, I suppose, this, this episode. This one. Simulate the game, a home game against Rochdale's home one. Well, lost, draw, and win in their last three. And they've actually beaten us at home. That is a real shock. And a shame as well, because we've, we've not dropped at all. We've not dropped at all. We've stayed in fourth place. And uh, look at how close the points are, though. One point between 4th and 7th. It's real close. Got Oxford next. Got Oxford next, guys. Away again. As I do the old switcheroo. And Hector Bellerin is back. What about Bash the Bish bloke? Uh, not Bash the Bish. Kodriev. He's well enough. He's fit enough. And he will play for me. An away game against Oxford. Come on now, guys. 
Draw, loss and a win. We do already lost one. We don't want to lose two in a row. Oh, no. Potter. Fucking magic bastard. The magic man himself pops up and uh, does an aloe Hamara. Uh, Hamara. No, he doesn't. What's it? What they call it? Wingardium Leviosa, the fucking ball. And it flew in the back of the net. Son of a bitch. Cheating bastard. Anyway, we've got a, we've got a, a cup game here and against... None other than Newport County, guys. None other than Newport County. Have we got a cup game for? Plymouth Argyle 2, Mansfield Town 1. Portsmouth 3. I think we'll leave it. We'll leave that there because the other guys have, you know, they've just played. It's a home game against Newport as well. Come on, loss, win, and a loss. Talkie United 1. And they fucking Jolly Roger, Sonny. That's three losses in a row now, guys. We've we've slipped. We've certainly slipped here. Tournament prize money, Johnson's Paint Trophy, 4,250. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to, you know, get any further with that. And we've dropped all the way out now uh, to eighth place. And I knew that thing was going to happen. Eventually, you know, you, you get these results and you do. You, you, you drop. But at the moment, we're rattling through uh, October towards November. Still a plenty, plenty of time, guys, up until uh, January and, and, and the uh, the next season. Plenty of time before this season ends. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, hang on a minute, because there was a guy there. Oh, mind you, no, I want to do the old switcheroo so I can actually make sure that my guys are going in there. Bash the Bish. Hector Bellerin. Kodriev. Good stuff. And... Uh, United James two. Pond is on the uh, on the bench there. One. Simulate the game. A home game against top of the league, Portsmouth. I don't think they've uh, managed to lose. And look at that. We've managed to we've managed to get a point off the top of the table, which is a good result. But uh, in in the you know in the grand scheme of things, we've dropped another place. We've got uh, uh, Barton. Barton. Is it Barton or Burton? That's Burton, isn't it? Burton Albion next. And uh, fingers crossed that we can get a better result against these guys. Because I tell you something, we need a win to uh, to really G us back up again. Because at the moment, we're not doing very well. We're not doing very well at all. Simulate the match. Away. It's an away game. They've lost their last three games. They're probably going to win this one. No, they're not. Mandarin, finally, gives us another three points. Which is great for us because it puts us right back into contention. Look at that. Fifth place, Fleetwood Town. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. People keep saying, oh my God, tough man. Oh my God, tough man. Motivate your team on press conferences when you're simulating this. So I will. I will. All right, stop shouting at me. Stop shouting at me. <laughs> I will do. So, Burton Albion's still losing. They did. They lost against us 1-0. 1-0, though. That's pretty shit. That's pretty shit. So... Hector Bellerin. Where is he? Kodriev. He might be off form at the minute, but I really want him to continue on. And uh, I don't care if he's off form. He's still going to play for me. Wimbledon. Uh, the, the ones at home that we were against Wimbledon. They've lost, lost and drawn their last three games. Come on now, guys. Oh, fucking hell. I think these are lower down in the table as well. So, you know, it makes sense, of course. Parkin's now injured as well. He's got a serious injury. He had to be taken off. Nine. We, we're down to nine from the table. This is not good. Torn Armstrong is out for two months. Fantastic. Pile more misery on my, don't you? And we get to see if anybody else has, uh, you know, gone up in rating over the last month. Press conference. I motivated my team and look what happened. Bristol Rovers. <laughs> They got demotivated to the fact that they never even bothered trying to fucking win the game. So parking is there, but we want to do the old switcheroo so we can make sure that our guys are in there. Um, Kodriev. Yep, they're all fully fit. Bash the bish, man. Remember, November the 2nd, and I never saw anybody go up in uh, up in, in rating or, or out like that in overall, so I don't know. At the top of the table Fucking hell. I'm never I'm not doing motivation again. I'm not doing it. We've dropped down to eleventh place now. English football league. And that's not where, where I want to be. I don't want to be there. I do not want to be there at all. Two, Cheltenham Town, one. Burton Albion, two, 
Let's do the old switcheroo again. Bash the base, still on 60. And, you know, we're struggling for... I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it, you know. We're struggling for, for some sort of form here. And, uh, being uh, Getting our guys out of form is not good. We don't want to get our guys out of form. So we'll leave the ones that are out of form for a second and we'll uh, we'll count to... Yes! Go on, back into winning ways, Parker and Mara in the, uh, in the 85th minute. Cancelling out Gosling's equaliser. And we're back. We are in the FA Cup against Berry once again. Champions Cup. Arsenal Berry are here. And they're ready to Celtic kill us, nil. I'm sure. Madrid, one. It's crucial to our season, Celtic he says. Four. Crucial, Jeff. Olympiacos. And I says, hey, don't bring Olympic Jeff into DNA. this. It's got nothing one. to do with all. Matty Blair is two. a fucking striker. Right? Tony Blair. Galatasaray, one. Zenit, one. AC Milan, two. Kodriev. I know he's not in form. But I want to try to use this cup match as something to try to get him into form. Um, come on now. Come on now. We're at home against Bury. 2-1. And it's Kodriev who goes and scores as well. We've got Matt is injured. And uh, that's great, of course. Fuck's sake. But money's. Money's, guys. Bruce Tailbone is out for three days. Well, I'm sure we can... Sure, we can deal without that. So we're back up to ninth in the table. Still very, very close in League Two at the moment. Still very, very close indeed. I'm going to do this next match, and I think, uh, you know what? I might actually go to the end of the month, I suppose. I may as well go to the odds the end of the month, and then we'll call it there. Leaving on international duties for the upcoming match. Blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. Blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. Blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. Hector Bellerin, Bash the Bish. Still hasn't gone up in, in overall at all yet. It's Bash the Bish. So Kodriev, I'm going to put him back in. Try to get him up there. A home game against Torquay. Come on now, guys. Let's get another win to end this episode off. Hey, it's Kodriev again. And Creswell's got injured. And Hughes scoring as well in the 87th minute. To put it beyond all doubt. Which is fantastic. <laughs> Player injured. What did he do to himself? Seven days, pulled his groin. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, let's continue on. We've got uh, a 30th game against Hartlepool, I think that is. And then, of course, into the new month. December, guys. 15,000. Look at that. I'll take that. I'll take that dosh. I'll take that wonga. It'll help me out. That will. Certainly fucking will. So, we'll play this game. We'll have a look at... Uh, see if anybody's, like, improved or out over the, over the time. Central defensive mid, apparently. Kodriev is uh, is doing the job there today. Fair enough. He's on the pitch. That's all I care about. Home game. Hartlepool United. It's another home game, actually. That's, that's a strange to have three in a row. Come on, now. 2-0, Matt and Mandron. Mandron. Yellow card for Kodriev. And uh, we get to continue a little bit. We'll be back. Yes, we're in playoffs once again. 30 points. There's only two points between me and Scunthorpe. And we have a game in hand over Scunthorpe as well. So we could get into our automatic promotion place there. Um, but let's see. Let's see. It is now December the 3rd. We're going to go and have a look at the office. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. We would like to offer you the manager's job here at Crawley Town. Having witnessed your progression in your role at Fleetwood Town, we feel you would have a good fit to take our club forward. We're willing to offer a salary of 4000 We look forward to hearing from you soon. No, I've got a job to do here at, uh, at Fleetwood. This is not a journeyman. This is not a journeyman. This is... Uh, well, it is. Uh, I'm just trying to be a journeyman through the leagues here, so... All right, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and have a look at the squad, and we'll leave it there then, guys. Bash the Bish is still on 60 overall. However... Hector Bellerin is on 61, which is fantastic. And Kodriev is still on 59. But everybody else seems to be doing all right as well. Everybody else seems to be getting up there. Let's have a quick a quick look. You know, I'm not going to do an in-depth one on the squad report. Why can I not do a squad report? What let me? That's a club squad, you idiot. That's a squad report. So, up three, up one, up two, up one, up one, up two, up two, up two. Shit, we're actually doing pretty well here. Up three. Why has he got Leeds United? Oh, he's on loan at Fleetwood. Fuck. 
Up one, up two, up two, up no. Up one, up one, up two, up three, up one. Down one, because it's shit. Down one, because it's shit. And then we're back to Bash the Bish. And I'm really surprised at Bash the Bish here, because why is he not going up? Maybe because he started at 60, it might be slower for him to actually, you know, improve. And he's only 19, you know. He's got plenty of, plenty of time left yet. Anyway, there we are, guys. That is it for episode three. I do hope you're enjoying this series so far. I know I'm enjoying it so far. And uh, we're doing well. We're doing well with Fleetwood Town. We're in that area of which I want to be in. So, till next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.